and welcome to week 10 of the NFL season, and that means week 10 of the CNBC.com Fantasy Football Weekly. I'm Dominic Chu, your host, and joining us, as always, the co-founders of OptionMonster.com, John and Pete Najarian. So let's get to our picks for this week 10. John, let's start with you. Who's your starter for this week? My starter this week is going to be Carson Palmer of the Cardinals. Why? Because they're 7-1, and one, they're storming through the season, and Carson Palmer's putting up better than 20-some-odd points a game right now. He's got a lot of targets. I think he's going to do well against the Rams. I know the Rams are improved, but I like his chances this week. All right, so there's a QB. What about you, Pete? Who's your starter this time around? My starter this week is Ben Roethlisberger. Why am I going with Big Ben? Because Big Ben has been lighting it up all year long. His efficiency is incredible. He's 68% on his completions. Three interceptions on the year, and he's going up against the Jets' defense. They're good, but they're starting to bend. I think they're going to break, and Big Ben has been in, fa in the face of every defense he's faced so far this year. I think you got to go with Big Ben to start. All right, they're your starters. Let's go to who's sitting right now. So, John, back to you. Who's riding the bench for you this week? Vernon Davis, I've got to sit this guy, and it's not because he's not super talented, but it's A, because he's playing the uh, New Orleans Saints, and B, because Kaepernick can't remember what number Vernon Davis wears and hasn't hit him with the ball in weeks. All right, that, I can see that. Now, how about you, Pete? Who's, uh, who's riding the pine this time around for you? My sitter this week is Michael Vick, and the reason I'm going with Michael Vick, they're going against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, this is going to be a second start in a row, but I think last week he was very comfortable. This week, Pittsburgh will not allow him to be comfortable. I think they're going to attack him. Those linebackers are as good as anybody in the entire NFL. I think they attack. I think Michael Vick will be under pressure. I think he struggles. All right, starter's done, sitter's done. Now let's move on to the sleepers. John, back to you, who's flying under the radar, and your pick for a sleeper of the week. Okay, sleeper pick this week. Believe it or not, Mark Sanchez. Yeah, that Mark Sanchez. <laughs> Even though he's playing Carolina, that defense, which I thought was a, just going to be a monster at the beginning of the year, turning into more of a nightmare lately. I like Sanchez to light him up. All right, I can, I can see that. Now, how about you, Pete? Who's your sleeper this time around? My sleeper this week is Matty Ice Ryan. And the reason I'm going to go with Matty Ice right now is Atlanta, yes, as a team, they've been struggling. Matty Ice is not struggling. He's throwing the ball extremely well. The last couple of weeks, finally starting to get that back, back that rhythm. He's got the healthy receivers as well. And he's going against a subpar Buccaneer defense. That's secondary. People can throw on him. I think Matty Ice lights him up. All right, so there you go. They're your starters, your sitters, and your sleepers. Now let's get to our big number. It's 0 0.99. It's almost one, but not quite. But it's, big, it's the big number because it's the number of points on average that Steelers wide receiver Martavis Bryant gets for every route that he runs. He's only made his start for the last three weeks, but he's already made a huge impression on that offense for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And with a hot hand like Ben Roethlisberger still slinging the ball, you could expect to see him produce even more points if he stays hot. That does it for us this week for week 10 of the CNBC.com Fantasy Football Weekly. Until next week, I'm Dominic Chu, your host. Thanks again to John and Pete Najarian of OptionMonster.com. We'll see you next time around.